for about a month now in this unusually tumultuous college basketball season. I've been telling you that I think Seton Hall can be a Final Four team. Over the weekend, they won at Villanova for the first time since P.J. Carlissimo was coach in his final season with the Pirates back in 94. Miles Powell was not born then. He was born to get buckets, and the Pirates' leading score has them unbeaten on the road in conference play, which is an insane achievement, particularly this year. They're also first in the Big East and top 10 in the country. Let's do our research now on this Pirates team. They've reached the AP top 10 for the first time since December of 2000. Thanks to some impressive resume wins over Maryland, that was at home, and Butler and Nova, those both came on the road. Seton Hall and Ohio State are the only other teams with three top 10 wins this season. At the center of Seton Hall's success, the preseason All-American Miles Powell, who could have gone to the league. He's averaging nearly 22 a game this season, second most in the Big East, behind only D1's leading scorer from Marquette, Marcus Howard. Powell's also shined, as you might guess, in the biggest spots, averaging nearly 25 a game against ranked teams over the past couple of seasons. Good news for the Hall, as four of their final seven games are against either Creighton Butler or Nova. Seton Hall's top 10, one of the reasons why, is one of my favorite players in the country. I'm happy to get a chance to talk to Miles Powell, who uh, who came back for a senior year. You only got a few more home games left. And, and Miles, when you came back, if you had kind of a wish list of what you hoped this year would be, what, what were some of the most important things on that list? Uh, one, to win a national championship. Two, to get back to the Big East championship. Three, win player of the year in the Big East. And then four, of course, win national player of the year. When you guys lost at Rutgers early this year, you got hurt in that game, and then you weren't able to play against my Terps. Uh, this is back in December. But you guys won at home, yeah. even though you weren't available in that game. And I, I wonder what that victory for your team, without you, their leader, did to kind of create belief that what you guys had was enough to be what you've become. I kind of been saying this all year. I feel like me getting that concussion was the best thing that happened to this team. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like everybody just – stepped up and um, did what they had to do. They realized that they couldn't count on me. And um, like I said, everybody played their role. Everybody bought into the scouting report and, and did what we had to do. Miles, I said about a month ago, I can't remember exactly when it was. Maybe it was after you guys went to Butler and won. I said that I, of your team, I said, you guys, that's a Final Four team. What do you believe mm -hmm. you have to do and your team has to do to be one of those Final Four teams left standing? Pretty much just keep playing our basketball. Uh, I feel like we're, we're a defensive team first. We get a lot of stops. Um, we get out and run. And we have a group of guys that just want to that just want to win. We're going to just keep playing our basketball, listen to Coach Willard. I feel like it's a lot of guys in the country that, that try to go against their coach. But we have something special over here. We're a family. Um, we never hang our heads. We stick together. And I feel like that's going to take us a long way. Well, it's, it's taking you on the road where it's so hard in college basketball to win, and you, you win in Hinkle Fieldhouse against Butler. I want to say they were top five at the time. You win this weekend in Philly. You weren't even born the last time they, 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 Seton Hall went to Nova and won. What did that mean for you and your guys to be able to take that short trip home with a win? I mean, it, it meant a lot. Uh, coach being here 10 years, never being able to win there. Um, for us to just keep taking – getting chunks of history. I mean, we're, we, we will remember this, these times for the rest of our life. Last big picture thought, uh, Miles, as you think about these last few home games, you had a decision to make last spring. Could have gone pro. You decide to stay. As this mm -hmm. time is winding down and you guys are in the middle of what feels like it could be a special season, what do you most want to soak in about these final moments as a Seton Hall Pirate? Just um, spending these last couple moments with my brothers that I know are going to be my brothers for the rest of my life, my coaching staff, um, just going to class a few more times, seeing the people here that work at Seton Hall. Um, I mean, the university has shown me so much love. I mean, and I kind of don't want it to end, but I know the story is going to keep continuing. I just want to say thank you to all my fans. Right on. Listen, man, it goes by way too fast. Uh, I think a lot of us that are way down the road from you, we envy the, the, those that are still in those moments. And you just, I hope that you can file away special memories that you can uh, carry with you for the rest of your life. Miles, I'm sure you will. Keep doing your thing, man. Continued good luck and good health, all right? All right. Uh, thank you for having me. God bless. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.